Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Stingray and I'm gonna make Minecraft videos now. Yes, the first video series I'm gonna make is called Redstoning. And what I do here is I'm gonna show off how to build certain redstone contraptions and how they work. Uh, in this I'll focus on smaller contraptions that you can use practically in maybe a survival world or in a bigger project that you have. But I won't show off big things like that or that. <laughs> uh, that's something that I may show off in other video types. But uh, in the redstoning series, I'm going to focus on small things like doors and stuff. And for the first video, I've decided to use this door. This is pretty simple. And I thought, uh, for the first video, it's quite good to use something very simple, you know, just for the beginning, for the warm-up, whatever. So, what this door is, is, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a 3 by 2 piston door. There are pistons hidden inside of this wall, and if I step on this pressure plates, the door opens and closes again. Pretty simple. It's, you can walk through it without uh, having to stop and wait for the pistons to open. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have to stop, you can just walk through it. Um, you cannot, however, run through it. You will stop running, like that. So I've just continued walking. Um, there is a way to make it faster, but it uses way more, way, way more, way more redstone, and it's more complex than this one, and for its simplicity it's pretty fast and pretty cool. So, let's check out how to build it, right? Okay, here we are. We have our door here. And what we want to do is, we want to go three blocks in here. That's three. And place the middle block here. So you have this three, two, three pattern. Right? And do that on the other side as well, like that. Then you want to go two blocks down here. Dig underneath these blocks. These are the blocks where the pressure plates will be. We can add them already. Um, and then you want to dig out these three blocks on the sides. Like that. That's pretty much it. Um, and now we want to add the redstone. So what we do is we place this six pieces of redstone here. So whenever we step on a pressure plate, this goes on. There we go. Then place two to the sides here, so they point into this block. And one piece of redstone dust on this block that you left out in the beginning. And then you just want to place a redstone torch down here on this block and on that block. <laughs> Fail. Okay. That's it about the redstone, and the only thing left is adding the pistons. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the last thing is just filling everything in. And there we go. As soon as we step on the pressure plate, the thing goes op uh, open and yeah, it closes again as soon as we step off the pressure plate. Now, how does it work? Well, for this one it's pretty simple. If we remove the wall here, uh, we have this redstone here, and as soon as we step on the pressure plates, this goes on. And this torch is powering these three pistons. This piston is powered directly, because the torch is right next to it. Uh, the, pi to uh, the piston, the torch also powers this block, which power then powers indirectly this piston. And this torch also powers this redstone, which points into that piston, because uh, most of you know, I guess, this is actually a cross pattern, not a point. Um, it just looks like a point, but it's in fact a cross when it comes to redstone behavior. So it's pointing into that piston and powering that as well. So that's why they are all three extended. And as soon as we step on this pressure plate, this uh, line of redstone goes on. That turns off this torch, which turns off that block and that redstone dust, and 
uh, that's why all these three pistons retract. There you go. That's uh, how it works. And there's one thing that you need to notice if you want to make a glass door. So you can make it a glass door, of course, by simply putting glass here instead of whatever else. Um, you see the uh, piston fronts here, but there's no way to prevent that. Not in this design, so you can deal with that. But the important thing is that if I step on the red uh, pressure plate now, you can see the... Hello. <laughs> you can see the redstone down there through the glass. With solid blocks that's not a problem because you can see th through them. But uh, you can see through the glass, right? And that's a problem. And we want to fix it. And what we want to do is we want to take slabs. Because what we do is, of course, we cover it up. But we cannot take a solid block because if we put a solid block here, this happens. Not very good, right? The reason is that if I uh, remove this, you see that this block cuts off this wire. So although that wire is on, that wire is off, so the torch doesn't get turned off and the pistons stay extended. So we cannot put a full block there because that cuts off the wire. We can, however, put a transparent block there, like glass. If I put glass there, you can see the wire isn't cut off and it works. But of course, glass isn't a solution because we don't want the people to see through that, right? And glass is uh, transparent. <laughs> for us. For the game, some other blocks are transparent that aren't transparent for us, for our eyes, like slabs. So I put an upside down slab here. And you can see it doesn't cut off the wire because it's technically a transparent block. But of course, we cannot see through it because it's uh, not transparent for our eyes, right? I want to place one there, of course, as well. And now we cannot see through it anymore. You can take stairs as well. But, of course, they are more expensive. So, <laughs> if you don't have a problem with that, that's fine. But if you do have a problem with prices, like if you're building in creative, uh, in survival, <laughs> then, uh, of course, you are wanna to... You usually wanted to make the whole thing as cheap as possible, and slabs are just cheaper than stairs. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you build it and that's how it works. Thank you for watching and see you next time, hopefully, in the next video where I'll show off the next little contraption. So see you then and goodbye.